what's going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you're doing good today so today we're going to be talking about the new star wars book that came out a couple of days ago by adam christopher it's called shadows of the sith now this book actually takes place 13 years after return of the jedi and it's based around luke and lando and basically luke is feeling he's aware of a dark side presence growing on Exegol. Now he isn't aware of what it is of course but he is aware of it nonetheless and that's what he does. He sets out to try and find out what it is. This is where this story takes us. Um, so if you haven't already started reading it I do recommend you do if you can. It's really interesting and Luke finds himself on Typhon where he actually teleports or his consciousness teleports to Exegol where he's attacked by the Sith Wraiths, nine of them. Uh, but long story short he is saved by a force ghost of a man he has a suspicion who it is, I believe, but he isn't sure. And then before he knows it, he's back on Typhon. And this is where I'm going to cover an excerpt from this book. This is really interesting. This is actually the first time we know of that Luke and Anakin have had some dialogue together since he passed on in Return of the Jedi. So uh, yeah, before you jump in, remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new and leave a like on the video. It's massively appreciated. Really helps the channel out. Here we go. So after being transported back to Typhon from Exegol, he finds himself laying down on the floor in the shadow of the Seeing Stone. And this is where this part starts. The Seeing Stone can be a powerful tool, but one difficult to master. Luke looked up. The glowing blue form of Anakin Skywalker stepped out of the shadow of one of the huge monoliths that orbited the hilltop temple. His hood was down, revealing the face of a man who looked a good two decades younger than Luke himself. Luke wet his lips. His chest felt like it was trapped in a vice, the very breath being squeezed out of him as he came face to face with the echo of his own father. Luke opened his mouth to say something, but a change came over Anakin. The warm, knowing smile was gone, and his blue form seemed to flash and sear, like a hologram transmission caught in a reception blind spot. Father, what is it? What's happening? The look on Anakin's face made Luke's blood run cold. His father looked pained, no worse, in agony. And Luke didn't know if that was even possible. Anakin was one with the Force now, and yet he was in trouble. His spirit flickered, faded, flickered, as Luke watched another man seem to appear, between the blinks of an eye, superimposed over the vision of Anakin as a young man, before his fall to the dark side. Someone older, a calm, benign face. The face revealed beneath Vader's mask by Luke so many years ago, on a battle station since long destroyed. And then it was gone. If it had ever been there or not just another vision in Luke's mind. Luke. Anakin reached out. Luke took a step closer, then stopped as Anakin appeared to be racked with a new agony. When he looked up at Luke again, his face was dark. Anakin Skywalker was afraid. When he spoke again, his voice echoed around the hilltop temple, but Luke wasn't sure if he was hearing it with his ears or feeling it inside his own mind with the Force. There is a disturbance in the Force, Luke nodded. I have felt it, father. There is... Anakin faded out, faded in. He stood tall and grimaced. Luke lifted his own hand, the two men, one alive, one long past, father and son, reaching toward each other, the flesh and blood fingers of Luke's hand, just out of reach from the blue glow of Anakin's. It is a shadow, said Anakin. He was shouting now, yelling across an infinite gulf of time and space, his voice barely even audible to Luke, cast long from an ancient time. Luke nodded. I know, he said, and it was the truth. Anakin was putting into words what Luke had felt for weeks now. I felt it grow in the force. Anakin gasped in silence, his spirit form now fading at the edges, his whole body a vignette of, that maybe existed only in the corners of Luke's mind. It approaches, you must take care, my son. What is it? Where did the sea and stone take me? Was that Exegol? Hell has many names, Luke. The seeing stone took a part of you there, but it has taken all that I can give to bring you back. Anakin faded again, but when he returned he was only a dim shape, hardly more than a blue glowing outline against a clear blue sky. But what do I do, father? asked Luke. If the shadow grows, how do I stop what I can't even see? The force is a river, my son. It flows through the galaxy, a powerful torrent. But there are some things that can divert its course, and some people... Who could seek to change it? Luke shook his head. The advice was so cryptic, he took a step closer. He wanted his father to stay. He wanted them to talk. There was so much he didn't know, so much he wanted to ask, so much he wanted to understand. But he knew that now was not the time. 
It was taken all of Anakin's will to even appear to him now, to offer a warning that Luke couldn't ignore. This was his task, his mission. The disturbance in the Force was very real, as was the danger it posed. The shadow, cast long but cast by... what? It was connected to Exegol. Anakin had confirmed that, but there was more to it than that. The dig on Yotaba had accelerated things with the uncovering of the holocron and the kyber crystals, but Luke had been plagued by the visions for weeks. They had drawn him to the dig. Law's invitation had merely been a part of that vision. It was how it was meant to be. The Force did indeed move in mysterious ways. Remember, my son, said Anakin, his voice so far away Luke could barely hear it over a rush of blood in his ears. No matter how dark the night may grow, you are never alone. Anakin gasped and faded again. You will know what to do, my son, he said. Let the force guide you. Let it flow through you as it flows through me. Use that power and your instincts, for they are the one and the same. And then he was gone. The blue glow faded into the blue sky behind. Luke blinked in the dazzling daylight. So that's actually a really powerful moment for Luke, uh, finally getting to speak to his father, but having all them questions he wanted to ask but not being able to, which leads me to think this is the first time he's seen him since Return of the Jedi. Uh, but I do have to wonder why. why. Why would that be? It's been 13 years. It's quite a while. Uh, I mean, does this explain with whatever Anakin is going through in the other side of the Force in the Neverworld, does this explain his lack of involvement within the sequel trilogy? Now, we know the real reason is that they didn't really want Hayden around as they sort of didn't want that prequel backlash to affect the sequels, uh, bizarrely, because that wouldn't have happened, I don't think, with Anakin there at all. Just look at how good the Kenobi show's taken off. Um, so could that be a reason, like an in-universe reason, for why Anakin only appeared as like a, a voice in episode 9? Whatever is happening to Anakin's Force Ghost is definitely dark and sinister, and it's something that I want to find out more about. Uh, we do know that he does make an appearance in episode 9 and this is way before then um, but nonetheless is that all he can do at that point is he just able to project his voice or can he still manifest in the force maybe it's a case of him needing to sort of recharge or maybe it's something more sinister and maybe that is the end of Anakin's force ghost um, yeah I mean I'm going to keep reading the book and there's going to be plenty of other bits I'll probably make videos on so uh Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new um, so we can carry on the Star Wars journey. Leave a like. Let me know what you guys think on that in the comments. What do you think has happened to Anakin's Force Ghost? Do you think he could have literally just used his energy and he needs to recharge? Or do you think it's possible that he's permanently faded away now? Or do you reckon he's been imprisoned? Maybe something to do with Exegol with his involvement there. Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you in the next video. May the Force be with you.